Still some time yet before the holidays, but those of you who may not be savvy flyers might need a refresher on what can and cannot be brought aboard an airplane. Traffic reporter Amanda Dugan has this reminder. Take a look at this table. This is some of the voluntarily surrendered items to TSA here at ABIA. ABIA set a new record in July with over a million arriving and departing passengers. More passengers mean more possible threats. Now, you can't bring flammable or explosive items, weapons, or even oversized liquids on an airplane. Every month, agents at ABIA confiscate about 180 pounds of stuff from letter openers to some strange carry ons. Passengers are interested in security, of course, and most of them understand that it's a partnership and we need them to be prepared to go through security so we can expedite the process and they, most passengers understand that. The most commonly surrendered to TSA is oversized liquids. You can see some of the crafty ways people will try to sneak things onto an airplane. Keep in mind, you can only bring 3.4 ounces onto an aircraft, which is like the little travel size shampoos. But a little tip if you're traveling for the holidays, you can bring an empty water bottle through security, and there are four water refill stations here at ABIA. At the airport, Amanda Dugan, KXAN News. And we did use the term confiscate, even though the TSA says passengers do have a choice. They can put guns, knives and such in their car or in their checked bag, but many people simply choose to turn those items over. TSA agents screening just over 417,000 people at ABI this past September. Across the country, 1.8 million passengers are screened on a single day. TSA agents collect so many off-limits items, they even write a blog about it. You can check that out with this story at KXAN.com. So we wanted to know what happens to all that stuff. Well, the TSA turns over those confiscated items to the Texas State Surplus Property Stores, where you can buy them. The money made from those stores goes into the state's general revenue fund. The TSA does not make any money off of those surrendered items. 